What's going on guys, it's Risky here, welcome back to Marwell Manor. Uh, today's episode, we are going to the store right now to pick up some more things for the animals that we got in the last episode. I believe we're in episode 8 right now, so this series is going along pretty dang well. I'm very happy about this one, and I hope you guys are all enjoying it, because I'm, I'm really enjoying playing this map and making these videos. These are a lot of fun to make, super chill, just sit back and play instead of having to, you know, focus on a lot of certain things. It's just such a chill game. I really enjoy this game, especially now that we have some new maps. I'm very excited and very happy that we finally have a new map because the original maps were kind of bland, in my opinion. They weren't, like, they didn't really allow you to have as much fun as you can on this map because this is the, the best map by far, uh, Marwell Manor. The other maps, they're pretty cool, too, that came with the modded mod little pack thing that came out, like, a couple weeks ago with, like, three maps on console. Uh, but Marwell Manor is definitely on top of the list for me but what we're doing here at the store is we're picking up a animal mixer wagon type thing so we can mix some hay and silage and stuff for the cows i don't think we're going to be using it just yet because i don't believe we have all of the proper stuff to make the mix uh, but we're going to be picking it up anyways and also i need to pick up a bale spike for the front of this tractor or any other tractor in the future but if i can freaking thank you uh, I believe it's under animals or something right here. Yeah, it's this one. We can either get this one or this one. But we have the money. We have 216000 which I do want to say in just a second the reason I have 216000 uh, But there we go. We have that now. Don't believe we need anything else. Let's go to... Uh, where is it at? Front loaders, I think? Yeah. And then we'll get this bell spike. Is there any other ones? There's that big one there. That's nice. Eh. We'll just get this one here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'll talk about it in just a second, the reason I have so much money. And I'll show you because we'll be able to drive past it. Well, I'll just tell you now, I guess. Uh, the fields that I planted in like one of the first episodes and the one I cultivated, which is I planted field 18 and cultivated or, and harvested field 15. It was barley and in 18 we planted wheat. Uh, after I got done recording the last episode, getting the cows and stuff, I just said, screw it, I'm going to do these fields. I was bored in real life, you know, obviously, and I just felt like doing something, so I just decided to harvest the fields and cultivate them and just, oops, and, um, you know, just prepare them for the next sowing and make some money because I didn't really want to show that on recording because that's kind of boring. I have a lot of other things that I want to do on this map other than just harvest and do farming simulator stuff <laughs> I don't really want to do just that uh, because that's kind of boring I like I'm really enjoying doing this animal and silage bale stuff so we're definitely gonna be doing more of that uh, I think the next time I do it I'm gonna do it properly I figured out that if you want to make hay bales you actually need to get a tedder so you can ted the grass and flip it over so it can dry out and turn into hay if you just cut it and you don't use a tedder on it that is just a grass bale. I figured that out, and I feel really stupid. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back to the farm. Probably park this up. If we have the materials to make a mix for the cows, I'm definitely going to be doing that. But I don't think we do, so we're gonna have to uh, do some mowing and stuff like that to get some grass and hay and silage and stuff like that. Yeah, so we're back here at the farm, and this is the only bale that I have. These are uh, straw bales from the wheat field, uh, field 18 that I baled. Uh, you know, off recording and everything, but this isn't enough to give us the mix. I also, excuse me, I also purchased this little bale shredder here so we can give the cows some bedding. Show you them over here. They're doing pretty good, I'd say. Uh, I keep, I can't stop burping, man. Oh my gosh, that's why I need to stop drinking soda before I record videos. But their productivity is actually at 75%, so that's really good. I didn't even realize that. Slurry is at 1,400, manure is 200, and milk is at 400. We're not really worried about milk or slurry and manure. All those slurry and stuff is actually pretty good because if we ever do any type of field work, we have a really good fertilizer to spread if we get a manure spreader and stuff or a slurry spreader. Um, we have a tank load of that. Uh, the milk is really what I'm going for. I've never done milk. I've never done dairy cows in Farm Simulator, so I'm. it's like a new thing for me. It's, it's new. I'm learning how to do it, so if you have any suggestions and any tips for me be sure to let them you know tell me in the comment section down below but i'm gonna go ahead and park up this mixer wagon i guess that's what you would call this oh god don't hit the pole okay we're good 
Let's just park this right here. No harm, no foul. All right, let's get there. Uh, one day I, <clears throat> excuse me, one day I do wish to maybe buy some more land and put some more placeable sheds because I, I feel like there's not enough storage on this map for what we do. I don't know. I'm probably just talking gibberish, but I do need to head back to the store because I have the leftover money of $162,000. So I'm definitely going to head back and spend this money on things that we need. I'm not just going to go out buying everything, but that's what we're going to be doing mainly in this video is just buying the equipment we need. And then in the next few episodes, we're going to be doing a lot more bailing and stuff like that because that's what a lot of this series is going to be since we're getting so many cows. Um, which we only have 12 right now. In the future, we're definitely going to get more. Uh, I plan on getting that big old uh, animal transport trailer, the huge one, the Wilson trailer, I believe that's the brand. That way we can carry like 24 cows or whatever the hell the max capacity of that thing is. And I want to have like 100 cows. That way we're just rolling out dairy milk and stuff or whatever. Um, because that's what I really want to do. Because I feel like dairy and, or excuse me, milk is a good chunk of money but yeah I'm gonna come up here and buy the things I need and then once I buy them and pick them up catch back up with you alright so what I just bought was this auto stacker here for the square bales because that's what we do the square bales I like them better to be honest because they don't roll down the hills of my my farms uh, and they're just much easier I, I prefer the square bales over the round bales uh, and then we have this tether here. I bought the biggest one we could possibly get. It was only $27,000, and the, the price from the second biggest one wasn't that much different from this one. So I just decided to go big or go home because we're going to be using this a lot, and might as well. We're going to need it, and we still have 65000 This was the main expense here. This was like 60000 or something, or 40000 I can't remember exactly. I was going to buy the bale wrapper, but I think... I'm not going to do that next. Once I get one more harvest, once we uh, mow and stuff and do the next harvest of grass and hay and silage and all that good stuff, I'll use that money to finally buy the wrapper and the baler because I need to buy the baler. Uh, the next mowing harvest or whatever, grass and hay and bales, bale harvest, that's what I'll call it. Next bale harvest, uh, I'm just going to lease the equipment, the wrapper and the baler, which I've been doing past few times but now we have our brand new and our own bale stacker auto stacker and our own tether which is very nice i think i have a wind rower yeah i do have a wind rower in one of my sheds so that's good i eventually i want to upgrade to the really really big one because that would just make things a lot easier and uh yeah we're gonna go park these things up i'm gonna get prepared for the next harvest i'm pretty sure the grass in our other field, our grass field, is done doing its thing. So, yeah, and I think I'm gonna do the whole field this time. In the last, in the last harvest I did for bales, uh, I didn't do the whole field. Actually, I can just park this over here. I did like half the field. This time I'm gonna do the whole field because I have the better and bigger equipment, so it wouldn't take as long. And we're gonna be getting more bales, and you know, bales are some good money. So, yeah. I'm going to go park this up, pick up the other attachment, the other, uh, what is it, what did I buy? Oh yeah, the tether. Park it up, and yeah, that's probably going to be it for today's episode. In the next episode, we're going to do some more bailing and all that good stuff.
All right, we are done with all that. I'm gonna go park up this machine. And uh, actually, we're gonna check on the cows real quick, see if they need anything. If so, we're gonna top them off, and that's gonna be it for today. In the next episode, we're gonna get back in this field over here. Actually, I did say I wanna check it, which will take two seconds. All I gotta do is hop out the tractor while it's moving. Don't do that in real life, please. <laughs> I don't want you to get hurt. And obviously, you're probably not stupid, but uh, it's not quite ready. You can still see there's little strips here. So it's not maximum growth length, I guess, but it's it's ready. We can we can do this. So this whole field should be all good and uh, ready to harvest, I guess it says down there. And ready to mow, I should say. But let's check the cows really quick after it runs through a save. I love the auto save though. I never complain about that when I open the menu and it saves. Um, let's see, their cleanliness is pretty decent. They need hay and silage, grass, and total mixed ra ration. Uh, the reason they have hay and silage is because once I, when I was not recording, I actually just bought like two or three bales of each, which was only like $2,000 or something. And I gave it to them just to help them have that product productivity, which I'm pretty sure that is why their producti productivity is at 75% is because of that hay and silage. So we definitely are going to get more of that within the next few episodes. And these cows should be doing really good as you can see we only have 12 i believe is what i bought i, I want to have a lot so within the next few episodes we're going to get a bunch of bales ready for these guys and we're going to have more cows so stay tuned for that uh sorry this is a little bit shorter episode to any of you that really like the longer videos uh, i just got you know this is just a good video here this is we're buying equipment and we're getting prepared for the farm we're like we're, we're this is just the beginning guys like there's so many more things I want to do with this farm. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, stay tuned for the next episode, like I said, what we're going to be doing. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> I need to stop jumping on the roof because people get mad when I do that. And anyways, for the last time, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.